welcome back to Hip Humans Season 4, Episode 3. Today, I'm here with my very good friend, Barbie. So, Barbie, do you want to introduce yourself? Of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Barbie. Um, my real name is Barbara, but everyone calls me Barbie. I am from Valencia, Venezuela, and I moved to the U.S. when I was 13 and then to Gainesville for college. I am a media production management and technology student here at the University of Florida, and I am into sports, as you said. Um, this is a little bit more about me. I am 20 years old. I'm a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> and I just enjoy like really good food and music. Yes. Barbie is perfect. She is definitely a Leo for those of you astrology I have nuts a out there. Tattoo. Yes, that was like the first conversation <laughs> we ever had. I'd, I'm a media production major too, so we met this year during class, and I was like, "Are you a Leo?" <laughs> I was like, and "Then I we am. were best friends ever since." <laughs> yeah, but Barbie's really into sports media production. So tell me a little bit about what you do um, for like a job, like here, because you do sports media. Yeah, that's right. So I am the technical director for the media sports event um, for the University of Florida, oh. which means that we cover all types of sports come, um, from baseball to basketball to softball, um, all the sports. And basically what I do is I get to um, be behind that production, like the, the team that people don't see, like the cameras and all of that stuff. The stuff, sorry. Um, I'm right next to the director. He calls the cameras and I give him whatever he needs, whatever he wants. Um, when it comes to the shots, I always suggest what's best. They can always take those suggestions from me. So it's kind of like a teamwork. Whatever you see on the program, whatever you see on your TV is what we choose for you to see the story that is taking place um, in this events that usually happens here at the university. And yeah, that's basically it. Wow, that's so cool. Um, like I said, me and Barbie are in the same major and we met this year because obviously we're taking the same, same classes. classes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, one of the classes that we took this year, um, oh my God, what was it? Fundamentals of production? Yeah. So we had the lecture together, but we didn't have the lab together. But in the lab, you basically do what she was just describing where um, she's a technical director. So do yeah. you want to explain like the, the, the switchboard? Like, yeah, of course. I'll put like a picture in so you guys can have like a reference for it's actually it's it's really complicated so it's cool it's that she's really able complicated. To do that, yeah. so basically everything you see it has to be like there was a decision behind it right so you see a different shot every time maybe a replay maybe a shot a reaction of a really good play that some coach or play liked so what we do is we have different cameras for example we have six cameras and we can see those six cameras live on our screens what we do is that we choose which one is better for you to see in the moment. So if there is a home run in a baseball game, we choose the camera that sh better shows where the ball is going, where the player is going, and we have to switch to those. So basically what I have in front of me, it was kind of intimidating the first yeah. day because it's a lot of buttons and a lot of different things and the buttons don't have letters on it. So <laughs> that you, ha you have to remember yeah. what, what they do. Game. Yeah. yeah. So I have to be constantly switching cameras, but you don't see that. You see, I see that in the preview. Mm -hmm. And if the director likes what he's seeing, he will call the camera to take. So I'll take the camera and that is what you see in the program. So maybe you don't see what I'm talking about in your mind, but just remember every time you see a replay, every time you see a reaction, every time you go to a base in baseball game, for example, you go to first base and you see the reaction of that player, or maybe you want to see the coach reactions. I, I do that. I change yeah, front camera so that, yeah, yeah decision. maybe like I, what we do to try to tell a story better is um, what do I want to see next? If I am this in this game, oh, this player is mad. Yeah. I can see the frustration in his eyes maybe mm -hmm. call camera six to go to that player and mm -hmm. show me his reaction and then we we're gonna take that or this game is going really good for mm -hmm. this other team and they're super hyped and super happy show me the home the home bullpen yeah that's what we do wow that's that's so incredible um what what i find so fascinating about like the the social atmosphere of our major in general is like there's so many different like I'm sure with any major, there's so many different paths that you can take so in many. media production. Like there's people like you who are really into sports media. And then like I am more into the writing aspect. I 
like I'm not a sports girl, so I wouldn't even know the first. <laughs> I wouldn't know the first thing to do. Um, but I think it's so cool that like you can, um, it, you kind of use the same techniques though. Like if let's say like someone's in the major for you know drama writing and they're writing like a a dramatic scene and they're they're doing a live show and they're switching the yes. the buttons on there to better like play to the audience and show the emotion of each one. It's the same in sports, except it's for it's not same. like a traditional, like you, they obviously aren't, it's not scripted, and, but you still have to follow like a storyline. Yes, and that's what you were saying. Um, it's about telling a story, right? Mm -hmm. If I show you just one shot of the picture, you wouldn't know who's winning. You wouldn't know who's losing. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know what's going on. Like what's the environment in the place. Mm -hmm. So I have to do that. I have to tell you a story through visuals and since sports is something that you can never predict like you don't know for mm -hmm. sure who's gonna win um it's very fun because it's in the moment you yeah. see a bad reaction you want to show that you don't want to show that so you have to cut to another camera really quick and hoping mm -hmm. that works so it's really entertaining it's like it keeps you on your toes all the time for sure and like that's a perfect job for you because you're so good at like <laughs> thinking on your feet i love that yeah like you're so and you're very like extroverted so you're that's a perfect environment for you thank to be you in. you're so nice <laughs> oh my god i love you Brooke. she's and look how pretty she is too oh my god she's literally oh, you're gonna make the laugh. total package it's just gonna be a podcast of me like complimenting you the whole time but um so when you were younger when did you find out that you wanted to be in media production like how did you come to that i think like i always loved tv always mm -hmm. loved tv like that environment the entertainment part and everything Mm -hmm. um i always loved that because um i always i would always see a camera and like be behind it not in front of it you know yeah. some people just like to be in front of the camera i have a sister so she loves to be in front oh of the she's camera a model, right? she's a model and yeah. everything i tried the modeling part but i'm like you know what i love taking pictures of her so mm -hmm. she was my first kind of like a like media production awakening i was like oh, i love I taking love pictures that. of my sister and yeah. she's such a beautiful um model mm -hmm. like it's really good when you have really good like inspiration yeah. And that happened to me with my sister. And I realized that, like, I've always liked sports. I've always mm -hmm. played a lot of sports when I was little. So, like, I get, like, the passion that people talk about. Mm -hmm. So I get to show people that this is just not an activity. Like, yeah. it has a story behind it. You can mm -hmm. see the frustration or the happiness in a player's face. And I get to tell you that through a shot of, yeah. a, like, a close-up. You can see the eyes watering or you can see the smile, like, mm -hmm. on their faces. And I was like, this tells a story in such like a, a fast manner yeah. that it, it can everything can change in a game yeah. really quick. So I like like keeping people on their toes, too. Mm -hmm. So that, that's that's how it all like started. I, I love that. And like like I said, like I'm not a sports. I'm not a woman <laughs> in sports. <laughs> but um, if I do like end up watching a game like with my family or whatever and something like a player makes a really good like I don't even know how to say like it a play, play. yeah, yeah. Play. I like will tear up like yeah. it's like it's something it's like in something innately in yes, people where it's yes. like like obviously when you're watching like let's say you're watching Grey's Anatomy and like you know when Derek dies on Grey's Anatomy it oh my god it destroyed me destroyed me <laughs> but and like that's very terribly sad but there's something so different about watching like an emotional moment when it's like real life and it's special to see too where it's like all of these people all of these like grown adults care so much about like a, a game you know yeah. what i mean that's so like absolutely. i love that absolutely the thing is that people don't realize when you when they watch like someone like a mm -hmm. like a sport like someone that's really good at their sport mm -hmm. um we tend to think about them as machines like oh mm -hmm. he's just really good he can make a mistake yeah like a really good player and then you see that mistake happening and you're like oh maybe i shouldn't be so hard on this person yeah. like they have a lot of pressure and they feel a lot of passion for their sports so it's beautiful to see that these are humans playing mm -hmm. and i get to see that from my cameras the ones that i yeah. can see from my preview and it's just so beautiful to be able to tell people like listen they're trying their best yeah and that's gonna pay off like if they win i'm gonna show you the happiness that they mm -hmm. feel because it took them a lot of effort to like be there mm -hmm. so it's just it's like a constant reminder that these are college students these are kids yeah. to be honest yeah and people tend to be really hard on um athletes yeah so especially now with social media yeah. yeah and there's a lot of hate sometimes 
which is kind of sad because you can see how much effort they put into that. So I love to be part of the the team that tells them that story behind the human. Yeah, I, that's amazing. And you know, our last episode that we did of this podcast, the first one was、um, some my friend who came on here talking about being a dancer all of her life, and we were talking about how there's such a big like. Psychological component to sports. There is that, like people, you know, non-athletes probably don't even realize.、No. So it's like there's so there's so much that goes into it, and like like you said, like filming like their emotions as well as their plays and all of that. It gives such a good idea of like of、yes. that. Yeah, yeah. Like I love when a really good play happens,、mm. and I get to replay that with my team. Of course, I have someone in the replay machine. The director calls the the replay, and I get to I get to show that, and I love it because people. That's like a reminder. Like not everyone can do this. Like、yeah. if you're really good, like like goalie, like、uh, in soccer,、yeah. and you make a really good play, and then you score a goal, it's a reminder. Like these people are famous, and they do this because they can.、Yeah. Not everyone can.、Mm-hmm. So it's like. Kind of like a appreciation reminder, something like that. Yeah, especially since like, I'm sure most, if not all, of these players have been playing since they were literally like so young. Yes. So they've dedicated their entire life to this craft, and there's also the component of like they're playing not only for themselves and to you、yes. know make themselves look good. They're not only playing for their team, but they're playing for the town that they represent.、Mm-hmm. And so I think like, and there's this documentary on Hulu where it's like Welcome to Wrexham. Okay. And they talk about like it's like a、um, these you know Ryan Reynolds and,、yeah. and Rob McElhenney buy like this this soccer team、yeah. in this really in this town where the team hasn't won in like years. years and they they win and they win and it's like it it gives like the town so much hope and it it boosts the town's like morale、Absolutely. and you see differences in the way they're treat like. It's very special. Absolutely. Yeah. Here, Gainesville. This is the best example, to be honest.、Mm-hmm. I'm from Miami. Like, I I lived in Miami most of my time here.、Mm-hmm. So, like, I get to see the city and what's a little town.、Yeah. So, Gainesville. For those who don't know, don't live here.、Mm-hmm. It's it's a very homey kind of、mm-hmm. town. It's not that big, but when there are sports events like football games, you can see the whole town. Like coming alive, coming、yeah. together, the colors, everyone celebrating. Even if we lose, everyone gets to、yeah. celebrate that there was a game. So、yeah. everyone is just everyone、happy. still dresses up, you know. It just brings people together. Like I love the sports,、mm-hmm. just bring people together. Yeah, I think, like,、um, I know a lot of people that I talk to have this experience too. Or when you first come to UF, or I guess like any college, but you know, with、yeah. UF specifically, when you first come here, it's like. This is a huge school. Yeah, it is super intimidating. It's also like you know one of the top schools in the country. It's like you're so you you know you were smart in your high school, and then you come here and it's you like, kind of get like imposter syndrome. Yeah, it's like okay,、yeah. everyone is smart. I did. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, do I really deserve to be here? No, yeah, it's it's an insane <laughs> thing to go through. But、um, one thing that like was really special about UF was like the sports、Absolutely. atmosphere and like the、Absolutely. football games. Yes, like getting you know it gives you something to do. You get dressed up with your friends and you go to these. Games and you know you're you're in a stadium with like what like how many people are in that stadium like seventy thousand more 90, yeah, yeah like ninety、no、like ninety thousand yeah like and with all these people who are so different like, who think differently than you who might not have the same like political yes, beliefs as、absolutely. you who might not you know absolutely you know different majors everything especially for us you were talking、yeah. about the majors like、yeah. we get to be in the same place with the engineering students like、yeah. medicine students like、yeah. it's like especially us like、yeah. our majors are like. Totally like taken for granted, like most of the time.、Mm-hmm. So like being there, it's like I don't care what major you are. We're、yeah. all here to support the Gators. Yeah, like, we're all here、goal. for the same. You're dressing the same as me. Like I like be like your background. It, that doesn't、yeah. matter right now. Like、yeah. I don't know what major you are. Like how smart、really、you、care. are. Like the、yeah. only thing we have in common right now is that we want this team to win, and we're gonna put like our differences apart and、yeah. support this so that it can、yeah. happen. Which that plays a lot. Like, yeah. In their minds, like the athletes' mind,、mm-hmm. support from their fans—it's just definitely a huge part. And I don't think people, well, I certainly didn't realize until I got here what a big component sports plays in society in general.、Mm-hmm. Like, imagine, like if we didn't have, you know, sports that are like broadcasted and like teams that people are cheering for. I feel like they're just there's there's so little to connect people. 
these days absolutely. as it is absolutely like common ground like that would be that's a huge common ground that people can share yeah and like basically what people watch right now nowadays are like sitcoms shows something mm -hmm. like that this is something that they can get they get to see that is happening right now it's yeah. live these are hu like real humans that are not yeah. a scripted these are not characters these are just mm -hmm athletes trying to give you yeah. the entertainment that you want yeah so it's kind of like a disassociation or something like that like yeah. from the the entertainment world and this is like yeah. more realistic like this is taking place right now these reactions that you're yeah. seeing are live are real especially now with like i feel like probably back in like back in the day when there wasn't streaming like people could be more united through like you know like come on get your tv on at seven we have to watch like i love lucy or whatever <laughs> but like <laughs> But now it's like there's with streaming, it's like, oh, you're watching season one and episode yeah. one of Grey's Anatomy. Oh, I watched that 20 years 20 ago. Years ago I yeah. can, you know what I mean? There's a disconnect where it's like with sports. It's like if you're watching the game, like you're, you know, you're watching the game at the same, at time, the same time. There's like, you know, some people watch it like later. But for the most part, everyone's watching it at the at same, same time. Yeah, yeah. Like this is a moment in which, like, for example, like the World Cup, the mm. whole world stops like it's oh, soccer is really good like it's really big yeah um most like mostly outside of the u.s mm -hmm. but still it's really big here too so like the whole world just stops to watch the same event taking place mm -hmm. in the moment which is yeah. beautiful i think and i really love how uf um something that i really love about uf is that they take the time to celebrate those absolutely you know like in the student union um on the day of the world cup they had like a Screw, like so many people were in the student union watching it all together yes. like cheering and it was so special to yeah. see like uf has something very special that they praise a lot and it's the community that they have mm -hmm. of students right so they will always offer these events or opportunities so that you can connect with other students and that was a really smart way to do it yeah like through sports the this is a, an event that is taking place in the same time so like everyone can watch it together regardless of your major because someone yeah. so like sometimes people are like oh i'm just gonna hang out with people from my major because of my classes like we have yeah. some classes together and it's very understandable like mm -hmm. it's understandable but we have to create this environments the time and the place mm -hmm. to bring people together from all backgrounds and yeah. this is a very smart way to do it i totally agree and like people <laughs> what's something that people don't talk about enough is how difficult it is to make friends when you're like past high school people it's really hard it's, it's so really hard. hard it's so hard it's really hard and it doesn't yeah. really matter if you're nice or not it's no, just yeah. the con like the the environment that you need to mm -hmm. to to create these connections is just not yeah. that easy to find yeah so, so sports it, gives you like a whole yes yeah and maybe your major can help can help you with that but i can't remember the last time i made a friend in the class and i actually <laughs> Dude, like, <laughs> just you. This just was the first me. time we yeah. just make it out of the class. Yeah. So it's really hard, people. So yeah, take advantage of what you have, the resources yeah. to make these connections happen. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> we talk about <laughs> that is. all the time. Um, it is. Yeah. And people are very nice. Like, don't get me wrong. You can find a lot of nice people in mm -hmm. your classes and everything, but it's just really hard to keep up in a college environment like you yeah. have a lot to do maybe you have two or three classes together but you have yeah. a rest of you also have like a job and can, yeah like you know just there's so much so much going on there's just for so college much. students yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so i want to know what sports did you play when you were little i didn't know you played sports oh That's girl so you have time yes. okay <laughs> so i did swimming i did tennis i did mm -hmm. kickball Oh my god, I love, I love kickball. kickball. It's so fun. Ooh, wait, girl, we have to play kickball? Please, dude. I'm the pitcher. I'm um, pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> we have to, all right, we're going to talk about this more after. <laughs> I I did gymnastics. Um, My favorite and the one that like I stayed in like, for the longest is uh, fencing. <sighs> That's so cool. I did fencing when I was little. I was really good. Oh my god, I but believe that. The thing is that... I, li listen, I talk about the passion that these athletes feel for the sport because I did when I was little. Mm -hmm. Not that little, but I did at some point. And it's really frustrating when you're not in the right environment. Yeah. So what happened to me was I wasn't in the right environment. It was not a healthy environment. Yeah. It was very frustrating as a kid. I got to be one of those that people thought that they were machines. Like, oh, she's really good. So yeah. she can't make mistakes. And that like traumatized me. I was yeah. like you know what this is not for me i i don't see the fun in it anymore so that's why i'm so passionate about 
like being able to to give them that happiness like yeah it's Make so it a good beautiful experience. yeah it's yeah. so beautiful when when uh natalie like turns around and sees in the big screen the play mm-hmm. that they just did and yeah. they're like so proud and it's like you're welcome <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> yeah um what's your what was your like favorite sport at uf to film or like to do games for okay so i love gym- gymnastics oh my god that's awesome gymnastics it just they mm-hmm. just have my heart all the yeah. athletes they're really good and i didn't know that like i wasn't mm-hmm. into gymnastics i just i just happened to practice when i was little mm-hmm. but i didn't know that there was a lot to do in a gymnastics meet yeah so you see it's a very impressive sport like oh yeah like the the level of of athleticness that you have yeah as a as a gymnastics athlete is just beyond my understanding yeah i'll get instagram yeah. reels of like um What's it called? You know when the when the when the boys do the thing where they're like on the two rings and they swing around the Yes. I literally can't. My brain cannot comprehend that. Like, I know. I and know. like the the girls who do the double bars and yeah. like, oh my god. It's in so it's cool. So, and and it's so entertaining. Like seeing yeah. like there is this kind of category like uh the floor. So they do kind mm-hmm. of like a choreography oh, and everything. It's just so beautiful and like cool at the same time because they're yeah. so graceful, but like really good athletes at the same time. And it's kind of like how can you find a middle point and be yeah. so good at it? Yeah. I could never. Yeah, like so athletic, but also be such a performer. Yeah, and so like, graceful. And like their faces and like beautiful. Their it's costumes just, are so pretty. Like so everything. Beautiful. It's just so. Oh my god, I love watching. I haven't gone to a gymnastics meet at you UF yet. I go. really want to go. It's such a big community. I didn't know that. Yeah. Such a big community. You get to see little girls who want to be like them, like oh. screaming their names and asking for like a signature, like something, something, so like cute. anything. Their bow, everything, and yeah. they just. Oh, it's so cute that's, that's my so heart. sweet oh my god yeah that reminds me of like do you remember in like the 2012 olympics like gabby douglas and like that whole like um i remember being obsessed with the five girls on the u.s team and like love I always watching am. them I always am they were so any. cool i can't remember any of their other names but i remember shout out to them but <laughs> i remember i loved like gabby douglas and like uh, like i never did gymnastics at all but like i just had there's such like a crazy deep appreciation for no those it's beyond my understanding yeah. like definitely so cool. like simone biles like wow well, oh, she's so good she's we so have good. we have our our own simone biles here oh for real who is yeah that? it's trinity thomas oh my god she is a 10 oh my god i'll insert a video of her she's a 10 yeah. you should she's great we have a lot of really good athletes and i think gymnastics is one of those sports in which we have like a team of 10s do you think that she's gonna like go on to be like Olympics? Yeah, that's awesome. Like, how does I don't, that work? I don't I don't know about this year, but we have we have a lot of like Olympians in our team. Wow, that's awesome. When is the next Olympics? Is that like? I honestly don't know. Yeah, who knows? But I hope I hope I should like, know this. I'm sorry, guys. I hope we'll get some Gator reps in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, okay. What was like a TV show? What was like the first TV show you can remember watching when you were younger that really wanted to make like inspired you to want to make television oh god this or like just so any show yeah <laughs> um okay so it wasn't a tv show it was um a televised pageant, oh my pageant. God. the miss venezuela yes dude i just it was so beautiful to see all these models like in the screen and everything i was like mm-hmm. it started it started with oh i want to be like them i want to be a model yeah but then I was like, no, but like the TV, look at the guys with the cameras. That's really cool too. Yeah. So that will cut my, because like mm-hmm. they would make mistakes. Like they, they would show the cameras. Yeah. Like you, you don't want to, you don't want to see the cameras on the TV. Yeah. And I would notice. I would oh, always yeah. notice. So my parents wouldn't notice. And I was like, okay, this is something that I see. Like the everyone boom else is. Yeah. Like no one has told me this, but I think that's wrong yeah you had like a natural yeah yeah so so i was like okay maybe that's not her greatest mm-hmm. angle maybe we can get it from somewhere else or the yeah. lightning or something and my dad one day was like you like tv <laughs> and i'm like yeah i like tv i like watching tv he's like no no no, you like tv this is what tv yeah. is and once he explained it i was like oh i think i like tv <laughs> no yeah that's so funny like you say like so i remember like the first like day I met you in yeah. class, you were like, "Oh my god!" You, you were showing, we were talking about Miss Universe, yeah. And like, you know, I am obsessed with 
beauty pageants. Me too. Love, yeah, we, Me too. we bonded over that. We're like, we're obsessed with like, we are. I love watching like everything. I love watching the mistakes. I love watching the everything. 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 Oh my God. And these women are so like, one of them was a, uh, an engineering going to, to NASA. Yeah. Like, like, so cool. That's how cool is that? Yeah. And you're beautiful. Like, yeah. The they're whole like, package. So, like, you know, they're so smart and like, really, really so smart. cool. Oh my God. I and it's just, that. you know, it's human nature to also want to be like, oh my God, I don't like her dress. Yeah. Her dress. And okay. I'm like, yeah. mm, maybe bad dress in orange. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You become like a creative dress. Yeah, you do. It's like, I want to talk to her. I want to, I want to tell her my ideas. No, yeah. I'm like, please, like, fix your hair. Fix yes. your hair. Yeah. Um, What's your favorite TV show now? I don't have a favorite TV show mm -hmm. right now. I am rewatching um, Modern Family. Oh my God, our favorite saying. show. And it's just so funny because I love family shows. I yeah. love family. I, I love a show that I can watch with my parents yes. and my sister and all my family, and we can all laugh about it. Yes. You know, it's kind of like very like silly and like yeah. I don't know. It's just very warm. Yeah, I really like it. I think like I talked about Modern Family literally in my first video because I like I was so good. We send Modern Family reels back and forth every day, all the time. But um, we were I was I was telling my um my friend about how like it's it's such a special show because you're you can watch it with your family like you were saying, and there's such a like it's such a nice feeling to be like like obviously with families there's like you know there's ups and downs but with your family when you're all laughing at something yeah. it's so positive yeah and it's such a good feeling especially when you can watch it and like that show does such a good job of being like relatable too yes so absolutely. you're like oh my god mom that's you're like oh yeah. my sister's just like yeah and the characters have so like so much like so much diversity to them yes like you have the very strict parent and the very cool parent yeah. you have the smart kid in the family and you have the, the old grumpy grandpa and yeah. everything so him. it's kind of like you your family can relate to um, at least three characters yeah you can there's always and there's like facets of their personality that you yes, can relate to like yes. they're very like multi-faceted yeah characters. And like, we as young adults get to see the perspective of parents yeah. which is really funny and stressful at the same time because mm -hmm. i always question myself i'm like would it be such a good parent like like claire or like yeah like gloria would yeah. i be able to handle this better yeah. than them or just yeah like as bad a lot of lessons in that show yes, for yes, sure absolutely no yeah i've learned a lot by watching it it's Me also too. so funny please go so watch funny. it yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping I, I grow up to be gloria oh my god i've <laughs> When I was watching, when I was watching it back after I met you, I'm like, that's literally, <laughs> that's Barbie. Yeah, my boyfriend yeah. always tells me that I'm cool, yeah. That's so funny. I feel like I'm a, wait, what's this? I feel like I'm a, um, a Cam Phil hybrid. Oh, oh dude, that's my brother. Know. Oh my god, really? I have a gay brother. Oh my god, he's and Cam? His, no, he's Mitch. Mitch? Oh, which wait, is so even cute. funnier. Because yeah. he is, like, so put together. Yeah. So let's do things right. Yeah. It's so funny. Oh my god, I love that. That's so funny. Yeah, they have they have something for literally everyone. It's so funny. Um, what was your most, like, stressful um, experience while doing, like, sports production? Like, did you <sighs> ever have, like, a really... <laughs> yeah. So uh, there was this game, and... Um, we were winning, but mm -hmm. since we're winning, we have to be able to like show the best shots for our team yeah. and the people at the stadium too. Um, someone made a really good play. I think it was a home run and everything. And that's the best moment to get reactions, mm -hmm. a home run or something like that. And the replay machine wasn't working. <gasps> and my director called a camera. So he wanted to see the replay of the home run. And the replay machine wasn't working, so we couldn't show that live in the stadium. So for a whole five minutes, the stadium just watched nothing. Like, it was blank. Oh, wow. And he tried to call different cameras, and I kept pushing buttons that I wasn't supposed to push because I was so stressed. Like, I don't want, I don't want them to just see a blank screen. Yeah. And none, nothing worked. It was really, really, really bad, and it was a really important game. Mm -hmm. and we just messed up as a whole it was really bad it was so stressful the director like ended up like screaming oh, it was no. really bad it's such a stressful environment that's, to be honest yeah but that's what's fun about it too yeah 
and uh, something that's like you know both good and bad about media production is like you know for making something like creatively is like at the end of the day it's a vulnerable thing to do it is and like a lot of like you know whether you like you kind of have no control over the fact that your ego is very much tied into what you're creating Yes. So it makes the emotions and the stress and the tense extremely high. It was really, like, it was really stressful. I remember I got home that day and I was crying because making a mistake on TV is, like, everyone notices. Yeah. Like, even if it's, if it's a little mistake, like, I was talking about the mm-hmm. TV and the, the pageant and everything that I yeah. noticed the camera. This is not that, oh, maybe we showed something with, like, yeah. we weren't supposed to show. No, it's that we were blank yeah. for a whole, like, five minutes and yeah. it was really bad because we didn't know we were blank yeah so i kept he didn't know that like regardless of what i was doing like nothing was showing yeah so he thought it was my fault too yeah it was really stressful i got home i was crying and then he yeah. texted me he was like turns out the screen wasn't working so it wasn't our fault i'm sorry for screaming at everyone oh. it was just stressful but yeah like i i get to share those moments too because like I learned from mistakes, you know. Yeah. Like, I, like as you said, my ego was really tied to to what I was doing. Yeah. So being being able to make mistakes and like like mm-hmm. go through them, but like gracious, like with yeah. grace. Uh, sorry, with grace is is a very smart thing to do, but very difficult too. Yeah, especially yeah, especially with like oh my god, making like TV. And I remember like in that one class I had that we were that we were talking about. Um, like you were in a different live group than me but i remember hearing about your group how there was a huge mistake huge mistake. and you were the technical director for yeah. that as well and i from everyone in your group heard that like you like like carried like you were like <laughs> you're so good under pressure like when something <laughs> goes wrong like if something ever goes wrong i want barbie there like yeah. she's gonna she knows what to do so we were supposed to do like a like a show like a short yeah. show and we had a script and it was our only try. You could only get it in yeah. one try. Like you do a bunch of rehearsals and then it's like, okay, this is your show. Yeah, and this it's, is it. Yeah. And we went over like five times and it was great the, the first five, yeah. like five times. But the last time, um, the host of our show made a mistake and mm-hmm. he switched the entire like uh script. yeah like the order he went off the script the thing is if you change the script you have to change the visuals that you have yeah for instance if I, we were talking about uh early something and she was like i'll show you guys yeah that has to be planned that has to be yeah. in the script so he changed it and we have videos in a certain order that we yeah. were supposed to show the director saw, saw that and he just froze yeah and he didn't give me any directions the thing is that as a technical director this is a very hard rule because you don't want to step on anybody's toe yeah but the thing is you have to take action because it's yeah. either being obedient or giving yeah. someone a show and you yeah. like ultimately the the point of this mm-hmm. whole thing is giving people a show yeah so i had to switch the videos really fast i had to press this those yeah. buttons really fast and the professor didn't notice that we made a huge mistake <laughs> Which is a really good thing at the end of the day. Yeah. But it didn't go as we wanted. But whatever, it is what it is. It was a learning experience too for me. Yeah. And like like you were saying, the there's the the line between, you know, being obedient or like giving a good show. That is such an important yes. thing to learn, especially like in this industry. Because Absolutely. it's really like when you're doing anything creative, especially in video production and like, you know, you're directing something like it is very personal to you. It is your vision. Yeah, you have a very my like, show. Yeah, like you have a very like you you know what you want it to look like. Yeah, and you it's, you know the story you want to tell. Yeah, and so like it's very um, it's very important for like the people that you work with to you know for everyone to be on the same page yes. as far as that goes. So you're like you can't. There's not a whole lot of room of like going off and doing your own thing. Yeah, no. But there are situations like that where it's like you have to also be like. You know confident enough in your own ability to to be make able, those yeah. choices in the moment absolutely yeah it was really stressful like at the end i had to like turn to the director and be like i did what i had to do yeah i'm sorry like you like, people understand like as no, a yeah. director they can be like thank you like yeah because it's it's a like internal battle like should yeah. i listen to him should i just wait should i let yeah the, just this go should i ruin the show should i just save it yeah but at the end of the day just follow your gut yes hashtag follow your gut yes um yeah so do you 
know like what you want to do in the future as far as like your job i want to do tv shows like big productions yeah or maybe even movies That's marvel awesome. movies are Marvel. Oh my god, I could totally see you doing that. I love I could see you action. being a Marvel superhero too. Stop, I will. You should act in it too. I will. I'm gonna, yeah, I will. Oh my god, yeah. I have no Hopefully. doubt that you're gonna be so successful <laughs> in whatever you do. Yeah, I, want, I just want to do entertainment. Like, mm -hmm. um, I am not into news. Same. That part, I'm not into news. I like the, the creative part of yeah. entertainment. And just sports happen to be one of my favorite things. So, yeah. either way, yeah, just entertainment. That's so funny. Yeah, a big part of our major too is like a lot of people who are in it, like you're either in sports or entertainment or like news pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of, it's very like yeah. polarized. Yeah, I hate the news. Like I, I can't. And it's so depressing too. People who work in the news, I admire you because. Good for you. Yes, good and for you. And they love it. Like they're so happy. It's, and I'm like, so oh my God, I wish I could it. do that. Yeah. Like I, like most of the news that, that you get to consume are very negative. Yeah. And there's a journalist behind that story that was there, watched everything, got the yeah. information, and like pulled the story together. Yeah. So that for me, I am very okay. If this is draining me, I don't want to do it. Yeah, that would that. Yeah. So like, shout out to those journalists. Yeah, I really admire. Yeah. Um, people who are able to do that, and like, it's funny because like them doing entertainment would drain them you know what would i mean drain, yeah it's absolutely like, it's it's so like, everyone's everyone's so different so, yeah yeah 100 so yeah if you're like you know watching this and you want to go into media production and you're like you know i don't know in high school or something definitely check out the media production here program at uf it's really good it's really good and um it's not a huge program too i would say no it's like not. the people like the amount of people in it yeah so you're like get really there's a you point know. that you go to classes with the same people. Yeah, and you get to know like these people, and it's really cool just to see. It's also I'm so excited to see where like even people who I'm not like not that close with. Like, yeah. there's a lot of people that I like or have been in our like, classes where I like look at them and like, oh my god, like they're I love universe. you and your scripts. I and... love that. Yes, yes, they're a whole universe. Yes. It's such a diverse major. Mm -hmm. Like you, you get to sit down and be like, you're gonna be great at doing these movies. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be a great writer. Yeah, um, drama, I'm so excited sports, to see. Yeah, news. It's like you can tell. It's yeah. it's so beautiful. You can see a whole universe universe in their minds. The yeah. way they write, the way they they tell a story. Yeah. It's just so cool. And you might not even be like friends or like you know, but yeah. you're gonna see. It's really cool to think about one day. Like I cannot. It's exciting to go to class every day and look around at the people that you're working with and think I cannot wait to see where you well, end up. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's so motivating. That happened too. to me with the last class we had. We were writing scripts for. Yeah movies and i was like okay how different can my movie be from for yeah. example lars but everyone is a universe like yeah, everyone got so to different. see stories so crazy so yeah. cool so like dramatic so yeah. passionate so so it, it was there was a lot of diversity and it's beautiful to see that you had the the freedom to write something for us to to be able to to see yeah. or hear because it was a script yeah and you chose what you thought was cool. Yeah. So, and it's very different from mine. So yeah. we have two different perspectives, but but we're yeah. in the same class, same major. Yeah. It's just so doing cool. the same assignment. Yeah, doing the same yeah. assignment, but you chose a very different perspective, yeah. and I really appreciate that. It's 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 a really it's a really cool process to go through, and like I'm. Yeah. Um, double majoring in English as well so I take these like creative writing classes and like just the difference she's and gonna be a, a great writer <laughs> thank great you writer. but like there's such a big difference between like uh fiction writing like and whatever yes. and then like tv writing and so like it's cool to see the difference between those and like the people the people in our classes um it there was like not one bad script there wasn't there wasn't one bad one and I remember there were even some you know all of them were good but there was like there was like a couple that I was genuinely like Me blown too. away by. And I was like, I can't wait to watch them. Like Anna's, shout out Anna, you're so cool. Yeah. Like I literally cannot wait to see what she does because that script that she wrote was so, I was so invested in her and story. There was this script, The Land of Pacifica. Oh my God. Yeah, Patrick. Patrick. Great story. Yeah. Great story. I still think about it. And you I think I have the like a great vision for you. We'll talk later. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cool too because like, like you 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 know you go to class with these people and they're like funny and goofy and like your your yes, friends and like yes. but then they have the also the ability to make something that makes you feel like 
yeah no like, I, I totally it's get so it beautiful it's like so, i it, totally get it storytelling is just a, such a special thing and you're like i didn't know this story was yeah like hiding in your mind yeah like, how how do you come up with this and you get to know people too through what they make yeah absolutely. like everyone's personality you can tell through 100 percent. you know what i mean yeah. not even necessarily in the fact where like if you write a drama you must be or like you're dramatic inspired with or, your like, family or anything like that no yeah but it's just like but the like, way it's your voice you know? yeah yeah like the way you want to portray a story is just it yeah. goes a lot with your personality what you've been through yeah what point of view or perspective you want to be it, yeah it's it goes a lot with you yeah and like it's so that class was really cool too because we had to do like we had to write like a lot of scripts and we, oh my god so much writing in that class i loved it but yeah like, we do. <laughs> yeah we, we, I, I can't even lie no yeah it was fun it was fun it was a lot it was a lot but it was really fun and um but there's also there was like a lot of like visual uh yeah, storytelling involved so you like had to write your script write your story down and then do like presentations where you do like kind of like uh with existing pictures yes what like was you it called? you don't have to like a photo book yes photo books yeah that's so cool. really cool because it, like even you didn't know your story that well yeah so you were forced to be like how's like yeah how's your character like what do they like what yeah. do they hate what do they love show me like what they see what they don't want to see yeah things like that it's also just so it's so interesting because i think that was the first class where i really realized it's like storytelling is truly an infinite thing because i remember like you know within the first couple weeks of that class we had to choose what our story was and it was kind of like you had like three days to like choose what it was and i was like i literally <laughs> don't know so i just kind of like was like uh this this whatever and then you're like you're like this is gonna be so bad like this I is know. so stupid like I, why did i and then but you realize where you're like i can do anything with any topic you like can and so you go so deep into this thing that you yes. never thought could actually go past the Absolutely. surface and that's fun and it, it starts yeah. with a really broad idea yeah you just start to narrow down your details yeah and at the end of the day you end up with a really good story yeah yeah I or a really that. bad one you a know? really bad one but you just had fun trying but that's even better because if you have yeah. a bad story you know it's bad so you want to make it good with something that you already have yes and there's always elements to your story that are going to be good even if you do like i did not i was not happy with my story i was not happy with my story yeah, i was not happy with my story <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I don't have yeah. time yeah there were elements of mine that i was like oh that's fire and then mo i would say 98 percent of it was so, so bad good. thank you so much but i was not a fan i was not a fan but i loved I your script too but yeah it that class was super fun so yeah if you want to go into media production uh uf is definitely a great really school place, yeah. take advantage of the opportunities that you get absolutely to. barbie's really good at that like she got into <laughs> sports and like yeah yeah the thing is it happened to me when i was in, middle, in high school here mm -hmm. um i was able to get my associates when i was in high school so it was through asking so you have to ask this opportunity like like it didn't come to me yeah be like do you want to get your aa when i was in high school? Yeah. no yeah no um i had to ask i had to ask around i had to make connections so i invite you to do that here at uf there's a lot of things that you can do you just have to look for them and ask and if you don't get a response you'd be like just be like do you know someone that yeah. i can ask that is a great journalist by the way because i started as a journalism major oh my gosh. and that's the best thing you can do yeah you don't know someone do you know someone that might know someone yeah things like that and that can be really intimate. I was very intimidated by that fact when I came here, but really it's just like a exposure therapy. Just go do it. Yeah. And then it gets easier every time. And when you get it done, you're like, oh, that was it. Yeah. You feel so good about yourself. It's like perfect. It's like, you know, I'm it's awesome. accomplished. No. Yeah. yeah. And you can mark it off your agenda planner and like highlight it. And like, Absolutely. you know, you feel great. Well, thank you so much for being Aww. here, Barbie. I love you so much. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back, you know, every Friday. Barbie, any final words for the pod? Yeah, um, be able to tell a story, whether it is yours, whether it is someone next to you. Telling a story, it's a beautiful thing to do. You don't know how deep you can get. You learn things about yourself and the people around you. So don't take stories for granted. That's how you pass down um, culture and traditions too. So I cannot stress enough how important it is to keep these stories alive and keep creating new ones. Mm -hmm. All right, that was beautiful as always. Just You're like perfect. You. Oh my god, just like you. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god i literally i'm gonna go now and me and barbie are gonna get coffee and i'm gonna stand girl over her for the rest of my life bye guys thank you for bye. joining us bye